That's scary. That's only three to four milligauss, man. I was living, I was like staying in a house for a couple of months in Miami that was three to four milligauss for sure in my bedroom. Is there any way to mitigate that? There's, it's almost impossible. There's yeah. no, you, it's, you essentially cannot shield against magnetic field. You can, but it's like. Yeah, freaky stuff. Yeah, It's like yeah, yeah. crazy metals yeah. and like. You Sleeping can't, in a tent. Yeah, like you, a, yeah. You couldn't even do it in an EMF tent because yeah. that won't do it. The, the, the EMF tents only do RF. You can measure, like it, they don't really affect wow. the magnetic field. Yeah. So the, I'll just say this about magnetic fields while I'm talking about it. I didn't think I was going to talk about this. No, I love this. No, this is crazy. Like, <laughs> do you ride motorcycles? I did when I was a kid. They're dirt, bike, dirt bikes, yeah. Horrible. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a magnetic field that's this high. So no way. There's, so when I, when I look online, I'll, I'll, I'll frame it like this. When I look online, I do not see any evidence that riding a motorcycle is associated with higher rates of testicular cancer or prostate cancer. But if you put a magnetic field meter next to a motorcycle while it's running, I will see 50 to 100 milligauss. That is major, right wow. on your or ovaries yeah. and prostate. Like, so riding a motorcycle That's interesting. is because it's just like, it's all this magnetic, true, yeah. Yeah. magnetic field, it's coils oh, moving. Right. You're sitting yeah. on a motor, you know? There's a, there's, a, there's a piece of the motorcycle, I don't know the, the term, I used to ride when I was in medical school, and you can put the milligauss meter next to it or the magnetic field, it pings it. It's like off the scale. It's like a, there's like a coil that's actually rotating. It's not the closest thing to your, um, to your, to your sort of crotch, whatever. Um, it's a little further away from you in the in the motorcycle. But 50 to 100 milligauss riding a motorcycle. So you think like, wow, maybe we should just be sure that like magnetic fields are not connected with solid organ tumors because it's a very, very high magnetic field on a motorcycle. Do you think? I mean, it, it would make sense that magnetic field stuff would interfere with us probably even more than EMF. I mean, it's, People, it's more penetrable and it's like, we are, we have our own magnetic field as is. 